What's up everybody? 3030's back. I got a video for you talking about Call of Duty Warzone and the state that the game is in. And I want to talk to you guys about what's going on with the game, what's going on with Rebirth, what's going on with Verdansk. And I just want to talk to you guys about all the YouTubers leaving and how I feel about it and it's just my opinions and where I think Call of Duty is going to go in the future. But the first thing I want to let you guys know, I'm on the road to my first 500 subscribers. I'm at 118 right now. So if you guys can share and like this video and sub, subscribe, please subscribe to the video. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to my first 500 and I just noticed the other day that I'm literally on YouTube for 11 years. I started making videos probably around 2012, and I made videos back then, but it was simple videos, but actually making and creating videos was probably 2012, 2013, and it's been exciting, it's been awesome. I haven't been uploading videos in the past couple years, and now I just started up again, and I really see that you guys really like to watch my videos, so hopefully you guys can subs subscribe, like, and follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, so... Thank you guys, I really hope you like this video, but let's get into it now. Um, as you can see on this video, I'm going to turn the sound down because I'm talking with my boys. We're sitting here having a good time. I do not like Verdansk. Verdansk, I've never really liked Battle Royale games, but Verdansk, ugh, ever since they stopped updating the game for Modern Warfare, we've been playing Verdansk, but until Rebirth. Rebirth Island is what I'm mostly going to be talking about in this video, and I love Rebirth Island. Rebirth Island is fun. I'm a team deathmatch guy. My friends like to play hardcore team deathmatch. They like to play hardcore search and destroy. But I am personally a, a team deathmatch guy through and through. I'm old school Call of Duty. I just like fast paced games. I don't want to stop the action. And Rebirth Island having the, the functionality of being killed. And if one of your boys, one of your friends just stay alive, you have the opportunity to come back and win the game. And honestly, I think it's 10 times better. 10 times better than Verdansk because Verdansk is a slow paced game it's a battle royale and this game mode is a battle royale but with the fact that you can come back and I think that's awesome no gulag there's no slowdown it's almost like a battlefield game from back in the day when you had to respawn and it took like a good 10 seconds so that's pretty much what this reminds me of so and everybody's getting ready for uh, Battlefield 2042 so I recommend you guys playing Rebirth Island it is the best game mode out there right now for dance, it's fun, but it's all it's skill-based matchmaking. I think for dance and battle royale games would be more fun because it give you more opportunities to play and win if they didn't have skill-based matchmaking or dumbed it down. The reason why I'm saying that is because in this video, as you're about to see, we're playing against guys and they're hacking. And this game was probably a month old. And I saved it, and I just came across it, because yesterday I didn't save a couple games, because these guys were just hacking in Rebirth Island, and the state of the game right now, everybody's leaving YouTube for, um, not, they're not leaving YouTube, they're leaving their, their games behind with Warzone, and they're leaving to go play X, uh, Apex Legends, and to me... They'll be back. Same thing with the YouTubers. The YouTubers were all done with Call of Duty and Activision with all the things that came out about Activision. But they're right back to making their videos. They need to get that money. I hope you guys really see that. They need to get their money. I'm going to show you Call of Duty and talk about the game because I love this game. I used to play Madden and now it's just Call of Duty. I've been playing this game since I was 16. I enjoy it. But now since there's skill based matchmaking and then Warzone is a fun game but playing Rebirth Warzone so much better. Now that everybody left all the big Streamers have left from Verdansk and playing Apex. Yesterday, I had about four games where these guys were straight up hacking, hitting people in the head one shot, full armor, just perfect aim to the head, just switching and everything. Like, it's ridiculous. I really, really hope that Activision in the next year comes out with the anti cheat. I heard today from a bunch of people on Twitter, sources on Twitter, YouTubers started talking about it today, that they're going to come out with an anti cheat in Call of Duty. Vanguard, I guess that's the new one, but there's no there's no video evidence of this game coming out. Not yet. It's right there, right there. This is what I'm talking about. That guy was cheating. How he had no idea I was there. I was quiet, haven't moved. So that's the hacking, but Vanguard's coming out. Slowly leaking some footage. Well not not footage, pictures. Pictures of the game. Drawings of the game. Like who cares about the drawings? I wanna see video. I wanna see gameplay. I wanna play the game. I want the beta. I want the alpha. And the game's coming out in November, and there's nothing yet. So You're going to see a bunch of YouTubers today talking about all that stuff. Also, these YouTubers, 
They're so hard to trust. The only ones I really like to watch is 402 Thunder. I don't agree with him sometimes, but he's been true from the get-go. Like, he's honest. He likes what he likes. And he's true. He doesn't switch for anybody, even if he has sponsors. He don't switch for nobody. He is who he is. Same thing with A Thoughts or not A Thoughts, whatever you want to call him now. I like those two YouTubers. Fist of Cuffs and all the guys, they left. White Boy, they all left. They got their money left. Fist of Cuffs, he just stopped liking the game. He was never about the money. He was about the game, and they started pissing him off. So he said, I'm not going to give you my money. If I'm not going to enjoy the game, I'm bouncing. So all the OG YouTubers for Call of Duty, they're all gone besides 402 Thunder and A Thoughts. And A Thoughts was almost gone for a little bit. So. I don't trust these guys, these new guys, these Nick Merckx and all these guys. They get too much. They're sponsored by Call of Duty. They're sponsored by a lot, and they all left Call of Duty. But as soon as this, as soon as the season passed, they all say they're not playing it. They're going to play it. They're going to play it on their streams. They're going to make videos about it, TikToks. They're going to. It's just they need the money. So the state of the game right now is unbelievable. There's hackers in Rebirth. I haven't seen this many hackers in Rebirth ever. There was three games that I played in a row last night, and I play this game once every day. I play it for like two, three hours every day. One time, three hours, two hours, and I never really run into hackers. But yesterday, three games in a row, and I think it's because all these big-time YouTubers and all these big-time Twitch streamers, they're on Apex now, and then... These guys are bored, and they know, they honestly know Rebirth is a better game mode, and more, more casual people, I think, play Rebirth, because a lot of us just want to play Team Deathmatch kind of a game, and this is pretty fun, especially since they, they're they not updating Modern Warfare, they put two, map, two more maps in there that they took out and put back, and you barely get to play them, so, and then not a lot of people play Modern Warfare, or they do, it's just the skill-based matchmaking makes the game crazy to load you into a game because it's trying to find people of my skill and i sit here for two minutes three minutes when i used to sit there for 10 seconds and hop into a game but the skill based matchmaking's got to go the state of the game these games are not going to be last unless they switch they're not gonna they're not gonna last past a year because of the skill based matchmaking like there's people on and i can sometimes only find matches when my friends are on that have a lower skill uh base matchmaking crap than me a uh, lower skill than me then we can all play and then i get into decent lobbies but when i'm playing myself just like on rebirth when i'm playing all by myself it's crazy and skill based matchmaking is putting everybody in these lobbies with these guys that are hacking like they gotta they gotta loosen up skill based matchmaking use more ping use more connection over anything because the state of the game right now is ridiculous season five is launching tomorrow and if they don't get the anti-cheat like if they don't start banding 250,000 people in the next two months or more, because I know there's a lot of people out there that are cheating. If they don't start banning, and 50,000 accounts, that's what they tweeted out today. 50,000 people were cheating. 50,000 different accounts were cheating. Like, are you kidding? They're probably double accounts from people, but 50,000? So they better do 200,000 in the next two months. It's August, September, October. Oh my god, August, three months. They gotta ban more, because this game is... It's, who's gonna wanna play and spend money on the season pass? If we can't, if we can't play because we're getting hacked on, so it's the state of the game is ridiculous, guys. And I love this. I love Rebirth Island. It's fun when you have a group of guys, and they just need to put the playlist in here like they do for for dance, like duos, trios, and maybe not um, singles. Maybe not do that because how's that going to work with Rebirth? I'm fine with duos and trios. If they just put duos, trios in here with Rebirth, I'd be fine with that. But the quads is annoying. Nobody asks for quads. Nobody wants to play. It's, the map is too small. And it's it's not a respawn kind of a game. It's not constantly respawning you in 10 seconds. It's a Rebirth where it takes 30 seconds for you to come back. So when you have a squad of four, it's just not fun. Every, it's just too compact you have five teams fighting with you at one spot it's just not fun when there's quads trios is fun because the guns are made to take down two people i it's very rare that i see my friends taking on three people but for two people you, your gun if 50 round mag 60 round mag you can drop two guys so then it's fair like it, it makes sense but when there's quads you're shooting at one guy then you're trying to shoot another guy then you're running out of ammo it's just crazy quads is not fun and i know that's why people don't like it you can't kill people that fast in rebirth or for dance so quads is out the window and on a small map and for dance go ahead quads makes sense makes perfectly sense the map's huge but on a small map like rebirth and if they ever make a new one for vanguard that's small like rebirth but if they like if they do van for dance rebirth and then some other map or combine rebirth with another one and just rotate the maps that would be cool but the state of the game right now 
people are playing it, the casual people are playing it, but also the guys that are hacking are finally coming to Rebirth, and it kind of sucks. Three games in a row, I've never seen... I've never seen that since I've been since Rebirth has been out. Like I've seen hackers, like it may, like a guy would be uh, sh- shooting you across the map, sniping you. But these guys are literally running up on us and just quick scoping us, like two feet away, like in the head, full armor. And they the reason why you know they're hacking is because my my my, my friend was right next to me, and behind. Well, my friend was right next to me. My other friend was behind the guy. He literally quick scoped me. Turned around 360, quick scope the other guy in the head, and then turned around and, qu- and quick scope the other guy. My other friend. Like, how do you do that without cheating? Like, I know you're using the Car 98 or whatever, the Swiss, but dang, it's re- it's a rebirth game. It's not team deathmatch. It's not normal multiplayer. So there's armor and stuff. It's, how are you getting headshots? They're hacking. They're hacking, and there's just a lot a lot of things they need to do in the next Call of Duty. They need to introduce. In season five or season six, because season six is going to be the last season before the next Call of Duty comes out. So in season five, they need to start banding more people. Otherwise, the YouTubers and Twitch streamers that are big, they're going to be gone. But us casual guys who carry this game on our shoulders, we will still be here. No matter what anybody says, I find games in Rebirth instantly. It takes two seconds to find games. Only time I can't find games is in multiplayer in uh, Modern Warfare because... It's going off skill-based matchmaking. There's probably still a shit ton of people playing Modern Warfare, Team Deathmatch, because I know my friends do. But Rebirth, I find games instantly. So people are playing. Even though these YouTubers are gone, Activision, Infinity Ward, all the Call of Duty devs, Treyarch, uh, Ravensoft, they need to realize that casual people will never leave this game because it's fun. They like to play Call of Duty. It's simple. It's easy. The gun mechanics are awesome. Everything just works in Call of Duty compared to Battlefield. That's why this game was so big during the pandemic. Like, everybody, everybody wants modern guns. Not many people want to play Halo. Like, Halo's going to be a, a big game, but it's not going to be like Call of Duty. That's why people came here. They like realistic shooters. That's why Modern Warfare was such a, a hit. So, guys, I'll talk to you about other things, like why Call of Duty is going to outbeat Halo and all the other stuff, how I feel about it. This is all my opinions, but Call of Duty needs to get an anti cheat Call of Duty needs to fix everything before the new Call of Duty comes out. And if the new Call of Duty comes out and there's no anti-cheat, the new anti-cheat needs to be in that new Call of Duty. When they release the first season for Warzone, it needs to be in there. But as you guys can see, I'm on the road to 500 subscribers. Please, if you guys like the video, subscribe, like, share, tweet me, and follow me on Twitter at 3030PSN. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. I love you guys, and don't forget to hit that like button and come back for the next video. I appreciate it. Bye. Yeah, I'll click play again. I'll play with you, King. Yeah. Fuck out of here, you hacking bitches. You fucking hacking bitches. Fucking back out my lobby, ho.